our 2019.2 platform release introduces the ability for custom icons to be used on the home screen. We have created this guide with 5 practical tips to ensure you get the most out of this new feature. Tip 1. Use PNG. Our solution supports the use of both JPEG and PNG file formats, but we suggest the use of PNG. The primary reason is PNGs support transparent backgrounds and also shading, which we'll go over a little later. To demonstrate this difference, we have created a few icons. The first two icons you see here are exactly the same. The one on the left was saved as a PNG and the one on the right a JPEG. Since JPEGs do not support transparent backgrounds, the white background was automatically added. You can match the image background with the offering color, like the third option, but when the icon is highlighted, you will still see the original background color. Finally, if you choose to change the offering colors, you must also modify the custom JPEG images to have them match. To create the best looking icons, which won't require changes, always use PNGs with a transparent background. Tip 2. Keep it simple. When you start creating your own custom icons, or search the internet, you will have a tendency to view them in full screen mode, as you can see here. Generally, this causes you to focus on the amount of detail included within the image, but always remember the size which the icon will be viewed. As you can see at this size, much of the detail in the spokes of the wheel is lost and even blurry, and the time used to create or search for this image is lost. This is why it is always best to keep your designs simple as they provide the same, if not greater, value to your end users. Tip 3. Stay consistent. When creating icons with the same image, such as a person, always try to use the same image. This helps make the portal look more uniform and provides users with a better experience. It also reduces the amount of time used to create new icons as you're able to reuse pieces from other icons. The overall consistency should not only be considered when designing the symbols and shapes, but also the sizing, alignment, and coloring. By maintaining a consistent and uniform design, you will provide your users with the best experience. Tip 4. Know your users. When you start creating icons, you should always think from the user's view. The shapes and images you use should be universal, industry specific, or at a minimum, company specific. The idea behind using icons is to simplify the user experience. But if they do not understand the icon, they don't get any benefit from it. It's also important to think about the screen size, as mobile or laptop users will see the icon slightly smaller, which goes back to tip 2 keep it simple. Finally, when using mobile devices, icons don't highlight as users can't hover over the offering. This needs to be considered when creating icons as it can affect the final icon view. Tip 5. Be creative. The first tips have to do with a more practical nature, but don't feel too limited or restricted. To show how creative icons you can make, we decided to create new custom icons for the out-of-the-box services for managers within our new identity governance and administration solution. As you can see, by using different shadings and highlight colors, you can make images change as the user hovers over them. These can be simple, such as with the request, remove, or renew access rights offerings. You can also create motions such as a lock which opens and closes, arrows and people which appear and disappear, or a trash can where the lid opens. With shading, which is also supported by the PNG format, in a little creativity, you can create extremely animated actions such as the door opening for the add an external person icon. When creating these moving icons, remember tip 4. Know your users. If you have a lot of mobile users, they will not see the highlighted version, so the non-highlighted version should be just as descriptive. These are just a few practical tips and hints that we've come up with so that way you're able to get the most out of your new custom icons. We have added the icons created for this video along with a number of other icons which resemble those of our icon library to the Effecte community for your use. You can find both PNG icons for instant use and SVG files which can be opened and edited using a vector drawing program which lets you modify the color or shape and combine or reuse any of the icons we have provided. If you have any questions about the 2019.2 release, custom icons, or any other areas of Effecte, feel free to ask a question Make a comment or start a discussion on the Effecte community at community.effecte.com. We hope to hear from you.